So what a switch statement is, is it basically allows us to uh, have a load of if statements, um, but in a much more condensed form, making it a lot easier for us to work with. So what we're going to do is we're going to test to see, well, we're going to have a variable that stores someone's username, and then we'll give them a message based on their username. So we'll create a variable of username, and set this equal to Bob. You can do whatever you want. Um, and then here we're going to have a switch statement. So you just type switch, then in brackets you're going to do the variable that you're switching. Well, the not, sorry, not switching, but the variable that you're actually wanting to test. So just type in here username, as we've got that up here, and then we're going to do our curly brackets. So now we're going to add the, the values that are going to happen for each case. So we're going to do a case, so in the case of Bob, we'll give them some message, and then in the case of Ben, we'll give them a different message, in the case of Tom, we'll give them another message. So we're going to do case, and then a space here, and then we're going to do uh, speech marks, and then here we're just going to do pop. And then we're going to put a colon, just a normal colon, not a semicolon, uh, not a semicolon or anything. And then what we're going to do is put the value that's, the, well, put the code that's going to happen. So we're going to go alert, and we'll go hello. So what we can do here is we can save this and we can run it in Chrome and see it says hello Bob. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this, control D and notepad plus plus. And we'll create one Bob, Ben, Tom and James. Just like that. And then in the case of Bob it's going to say hello Bob. Uh, for Ben it's going to say Hola, Bob. So it's Spanish. Uh, no, sorry, this is Ben actually. So we can give them all different messages. Uh, and here we're going to say your name is Tom. You you are James. Just like that. So now it's going to test to see: is it Bob? If it's not, then we're going to have a look. Is it Ben? If it's not, then we're going to have a look. If it's Tom, if, uh, then we're going to have a look, and we're going to do this. If it's James, then we're just going to do this. So now if I run this in Chrome, hello Bob, and then I say hello Ben, your name is Tom, you are James. Now that isn't actually what we wanted to do, we only wanted to do the right one for it. The reason it's doing this is because we need to use something called a break statement. A uh, break statement basically, as soon as it's run, it will take you, it will jump you out of the switch statement or out of the uh, while loop or whatever you want. So we'll do break, and we'll just put this under each uh, under each one, and this will fix our issues. So now if we run this, you see, uh, hello, Be hello, Bob, and that's all done. It finished there. So that's switch statements, they're very useful, you see this is much more condensed. We could have literally just gone if, you know, if username is equal to Bob, then we could just put this all down here. But you see that's already taken up so much. This switch statement makes it a lot easier, especially when you've got like a hundred of these. Um, if you only got like one or two, then it doesn't make too much of a difference. But still, it's good to know. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you found it useful. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.